Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some elephant. These are baked squeezed pretzels. It says elephant, master of incredible snacks. This is the sea salt. These are the black and white sesame. Uh, tomato and herbs and honey mustard and onion. These were two, tw uh, sorry, two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Two ninety nine a bag at Home Goods. Okay, so we're gonna lay them over here. They look like little bagels. They do. They, they, look they look like, like they they to me they looked appealing because they look like those um, the pretzels that I really like. What's not a snack wells, but what brand is that? I don't know. Ashley just had a bag of them. Yes, too. she did. <laughs> Can't think of me. <laughs> They're little pretzel shaped flat crackers. What are those pretzels called? I love those pretzels. Those are the ones I buy yeah. all the uh, snack factory. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's snack. Snack factory pretzels. Those are the ones that's what these look like, Except and that's why they appeal to me. Okay, uh, reinvent your snacks. Prepare a special appetizer in just a moment. Squeeze pretzels are an innovative snack made from dough, toasted in the oven, thin and crispy. With the squeezed pretzels, you can create a smart and special appetizer. They are tasty as such, or in combination with creamy products. <laughs> <laughs> like, this was clearly made in a different country and ran through Google Translate. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, the, they are tasty as such, or in combination with creamy products like cream cheese, or added to your favorite salad. Try them and join a world of consumers that have fallen in love with the elephant pretzels. Pro they're a product of Romania. Google Translate. Um, yes, uh, that, this is hysterical. Squeeze pretzels with sea salt. Uh, one ounce, 28 grams, about 17 pieces is 115 calories. You know what, they might have been in... Oh, they're tiny! They're so cute! They, they might have been in Home Goods because of a misprint on the bag, like for that. Well, it wasn't a misprint really, it's just the way it was worded. No it was cute. They look it, like old know, pineapple slices. They're so cute! Mm. Oh, they're good. good. Very buttery. Almost like a Ritz cracker. That Does is that not so remind good. you of Ritz almost? Yeah. Salty, buttery. Mm. You know what I love about it? It's the texture. They're not classic. Because I'll tell you what, the texture reminds you of a Ritz cracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're you, very much a Ritz cracker. Yes. You wouldn't think that a... Um, a pretzel would remind you of a Ritz cracker. Mm -hmm. Those would be awesome with that laughing cow cheese. Mm -hmm. Those are been... so good. That's just the sea salt. You mentioned the only reason I compare them is you mentioned Julia's um, snack, snack factory ones. The, those are harder. The snack yes. factory ones are like hard and crisp. These are very soft, like a Ritz cracker. They're like a Ritz cracker. These are or more a like a club cracker or any, any other yeah. softer cracker. So these would not remind you, and they have a good amount of salt on yeah. them. Yeah, and they're they're. They're stiff enough to where they don't break really easy. If you're gonna, mm -hmm. if you're gonna dip in a really hard dip or or something like that, it may break. But a, just a regular dip, it's not. Uh, I think those are delicious, really and I like these more than Snack Factory. The problem is, where are you gonna buy them? You can't buy them. Right where now. are you gonna buy them? Okay, this is the black and white sesame. It is 125 calories for 17 pieces, which that's something else I like about things from other countries is they're gonna give you the exact calories. Yeah, we, we both love sesame. So. Oh yeah, and you can smell it. Oh, uh, sesame sticks. No. Mm, sesame sticks are like one of my favorite. Yeah, and these are well, <laughs> well coated. <laughs> Same texture. Mm -hmm. mm. Those are good. I like the sesame sticks better, but but those. I are like good. the sesame sticks better too, and. Home Goods specifically mm. sells a brand that I've never seen in the stores, and we reviewed it a long time ago. It's called like Brooklyn Baked or yeah. something. They're in a black bag. Mm -hmm. They're you, stick. They're bigger sticks. If you ever see those at Home Goods, those are the ones to buy. Mm -hmm. These do have a good amount of salt again, but they the, have a buttery. Yeah, but the the sesame isn't as strong as on those sticks. Yeah, and I do like those the crispiness of those mm -hmm. sticks yeah. with the 
with the combination with the, with sesame. the sesame. Yeah. These are good though. I mean, mm -hmm. if you if you like a, a good sesame flavor on a, a cracker, basically, it's it just not as strong yeah. as I would like. But yeah. it still is very nice, and I'm I am pulling salt for my tea. Salt still mm -hmm. has that buttery flavor, mm -hmm. which I really like. Same texture. That's really good. Okay, this is the tomato and herb, and it is 122 calories for 16 pieces. <laughs> it does. Ooh, these are red. Uh huh. Ooh, gosh, that smells incredible. Is it? Really it smells nice? like pizza. Oh, it does smell like pizza. That's. It smells like pizza sauce. It smells just like pizza combos. Gosh. Have you ever had pizza combos? Those are dark. Oh. Mm. That's pizza sauce. Or a really good spaghetti sauce. Mm-hmm. Or sp yeah, spaghetti sauce. That's more like spaghetti. It's really good, actually. That is so good. Actually, it's one of the better pizza spaghetti kind of sauce yeah. chips I've had. That's really, really. I mean, you feel like you've eaten a bite of spaghetti. Mm -hmm. That's what that tastes like. Yeah, Just the spices like are nice. The tomato mm -hmm. is really good. Same texture. Yeah, it, it kills me though that uh, really we're good. trying these and then it's like, can't, can't find them. you can't find them. That's why, if you wonder why I don't buy as much as I used to, um, this is the honey mustard and onion, 120 calories for 16. If you wonder why I don't buy as many things as I used to from Home Goods and places like that, it's because um, I think, uh, I have to think about, are people going to be able to buy these? And probably not. So, I try to be careful now. Mostly onion. If you put this side down on your tongue. I do. Okay. Yeah, put the top rounded over smooth part on your tongue. Because it has the most powder on mm -hmm. it. Those taste just like the Snyder's of Hanover, but they're not as strong. They're not as mustardy. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, that's mostly onion. Yes. Honestly. Um, I like it better. You do than get a much. hint of the mustard, but, but it's mostly onion. I like that. I wonder what this tastes like with this. You know. Hmm. Sure good together too. I'm really, um, I'm really impressed with these. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love the texture. You don't need anything. You don't need a dip with these. No, you really don't. If you buy a flavored one, then no, you don't. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you buy a regular one, you don't either. But I can think of so many things it would pair well with. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're gonna differ on our favorite. Maybe. Okay. What well, is the tomato? Okay, that really surprises me because normally Kevin doesn't pick well, the tomato Well, if one. that had more of a mustard onion flavor, I mm -hmm. probably would have picked that one, but it's really light on the mustard and I don't want all onion. Okay, what is your second favorite? Mm, probably just the regular. Okay. The salt. Okay, the salt is my number one. Yeah. Uh, because I'm They're thinking... Really the sea salt one, you could uh, have it by itself if you wanted, just like if you open the Ritz crackers and you get one of those by themselves. Mm -hmm. Or you could put it with that Laughing Cow cheese. I mean, anything. You could put peanut butter on that. You could put cheese, anything. you know, regular sliced cheese. Anything, anything that would go with like a Ritz cracker. Would go with that. Mm -hmm. it, truly, it is delicious. Um, and then my second place is going to be the um, honey mustard. Yeah, but you always did like a, a stronger onion than me. Yes, you like I do. onion spring onion chips that kind of I stuff. Do. I do. Whereas, like I said, if it had a little bit more mustard to it, it was more balanced. I would have liked. I would, that would have probably been my number one. But but I I'm really really impressed with yeah, the quality of these. I really wish they sold these in the stores. Yeah, I'd be curious if anybody out there sees these in their store regularly. Yes, please. Yeah, what, what area are you in? Yeah, put it in the comments below. Now, you watch somebody from uh, Great Britain will be like, I see them all the time. That <laughs> does me no good. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, if you see them in your store, let us know because I'm curious, are people going to be able to get these anywhere? Yeah. Uh, because I think they're very, very good quality. It would make a terrific snack on their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
I agree. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.